to bioinformatics introduction and methods. I'm leaping away from the Center for Bioinformatics at Peking University. We have learned about a lot of bioinformatic methods from sequence alignment, sequence search, to next generation sequencing data analysis and pathway networks. We have also reviewed lots of online bioinformatics resources, including databases and software tools. We will use two case studies to show you how you can integrate bioinformatic data methods and analysis to study biological questions. This week, I am pleased to have Dr. Man Yuanlong, Edna K. Papazian Distinguished Service Professor from the University of Chicago Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology to be here with us. Dr. Long and I will discuss how to use bioinformatics data and methods to study the origination, evolution, and function of new genes. Dr. Man Yuanlong received his PhD degree from the laboratory of Dr. Chuck Lanley at the University of California, Davis. He then did his postdoc at the laboratory of Walter Gilbert and Richard, and Richard Lewinton at Harvard University. In 1997, he joined the faculty at the Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology at the University of Chicago as assistant professor and has subsequently been promoted to associate professor and full professor. Man Yuan was named the prestigious Edna K. Paparzin Distinguished Service Professor in 2011. Since 2006, we have had the pleasure of having Man Yuan as a Changjiang Chair Adjunct Professor at the School of Life Sciences, Peking University. Man Yuan is a world-renowned expert and pioneer in the study of the origination, evolution, and function of new genes. I am delighted that Dr. Long is here today to tell us about the biology background of the study of new genes and how his lab had combined computational and experimental biology approaches to study them. Welcome. So today we're going to talk about new gene evolution dictated by uh, genomic computation. Uh, in the first section, I'm going to introduce basic concept and uh, examples. So today, we know that bioinformatic analysis play a common role in biology and medicine. In present day biological medical study, a in quick paradigm shift toward genomic analysis in both gene identification and expression analysis. This analysis created a geometrical scale of data. We also know that bioinformatics is a very important tool for data analysis in various levels from preliminary data presentation to advanced interpretation for various scientific problems. With the unprecedented power to detect natural phenomena with the underlying mechanism. The biological rule and the various correlation among the involved factors detected by bioinformatic analysis from biological and medical study are illuminating in the progress towards understanding basic biological and medical problems. In this section, I'm going to apply bioinformatic analysis to a basic biological problem, which is origination and evolution of a new gene in a general concept and our understanding of evolution of human and other mammal. These results are valuable for solving relevant biological and medical problems exemplified by the case analysis. This is a combination I prepared, which included a lot of uh, species whose genome have been sequenced from uh, eukaryote. From this table, we see that the gene number among different species differ in uh, two order magnitude higher. For example, the soybean have more than 50,000 genes, 50074 gene there, 
and a bacterial species Candida hodgkinia, which have about only 189 genes. So the species with the smallest number of the gene and the highest number of the gene can be differed by more than 265 times. If it's about different of genome size, that can be even bigger. And this comparison immediately told us that organism evolved a number of gene and the size of genome. This suggests that there is a general process of birth and death of the gene in evolution, i.e. the new gene origination become very important general problem. Here I give definition for what we call the new gene. This is a virtually centrally based definition. Assume there are four species which diverge in certain time ago and split in time T3, T2, T1, usually in unit of millions of years. And the two genes which is join as green color and yellow color, which it exists in most common sister for all species such as that their old gene, which we call the G1 and the G3. If we sequence the genetic region, have the region of genetic DNA, we, sh we see that and in species S1, S2, there are G1 after that, have G2 after that, there is a G3 gene there. And G1 show up in all four species, while G2 only showed up in S1 and S2. By this final genetic distribution, one interpretation that G2 is a new gene which originated in the most recent common center of species S1, S2 in there as the red line shoe. But after giving this definition, you might wonder why we cannot infer that this gene G2 might have been a very old gene just because species S3 and S4 and, and lost it. So this is a question. Why do we not define G2 in S3 and S4 as a consequence of gene loss that may have occurred in the ancestor before the divergence of S1 and S2, which may lead to the absence of G2 in S3 and S4? A solution to this question relies on a principle in evolution analysis which we call parsimony. This is a principle of accounting for observation by the hypothesis require the fewest or simplest assumption that lack evidence. In evolution, the principle of invoking minimum number of evolutionary changes to infer the more likely possibility. For example, if we let analyze the two hypotheses, in the scenario of the gene loss. In order to assume the gene loss, we have to assume that in a common sister at the red dash line show, the gene G2 have to be there throughout that process from ancient time before the T3. And I use three red line, actually four line, indicate present of the gene because you have to guarantee that the gene eventually have to sign of the first two species. But this has to invoke the two gene loss event. In the right scenario of a gene gain or new gene origination, there we only invoke one single origination event. Therefore, we have to invoke two independent gene loss event in the hypothesis of gene loss, while we only invoke one gene gain event in the gene origination hypothesis in the most recent comments. So for this reason, we think it's more likely that the gene originated in the most recent common sister of S1 and S2. You can do an uh, exercise. Assuming the equal probability of gene gain and the loss, in each evolutionary change in the process, 
you can infer that citrus state of presence of absence of the gene at the time T1, T2, T3 in the two hypotheses of new gene gain or ancestral loss of old gene. Then you choose the most possible differences hypothesis by calculating the total number of evolutionary changes required by the two hypotheses. In evolution analysis, S4 is called the outgroup species that can be used to help infer the ancestral state of G2 at T2. Repeat the exercise when you add one more outgroup species that also has no G2 and find if you are more confident for our previous inference that the G2 is a new gene that originated between T1 and T2, as is showing below. Here is one example which is reported as a new gene. The gene SDAC is a new gene to suffer Melogaster, which is a single lineage in this group of Drosophila species. This gene codes for sperm specific axonema dialing subunit, which is immediately flanked by two parental genes CDAC and ANNX. Because this gene only appears in one single lineage of the soft metal gather, which is flanked by the two old genes, actually their parental gene because SDSC actually is a chimera between the two genes and repeat a number of time. And for this reason, we have to assume that this gene originated between 30 million years ago to 1 million years ago in the middle, maybe 1.5 million years ago or so. Using this definition, then we right now can identify the new gene from the 12th or subspecies because all their genomic sequences have been reported and in the database and publicly available to everybody. The left side is a pipeline we define when we develop computer pipeline identify new gene. I would suggest you read it. I don't have to repeat it. And but on the other side there, in this pipeline, we define a very conservative criteria. We require if a two gene duplicated are identified, then their similarity has to be higher or equal to fifty percent. And their overall coverage region is no less than 70%. So this is really criteria. Using this pipeline and running the 12 genomic sequences as we show in the right side chart, which there show how the 12 species diverge in what evolution time. Result is that we identify almost 1,000 of new genes in the red lineage, which evolved from common stir of all Drosophila towards Drosophila metogaster. You are going to see, you will see that in the branch 1, there are up in the branch 2, you will see T1 gene originally in that period, and it, those genes existing from Drosophila pseudobus gyra to Drosophila metogaster. Even in the most recent branch, which is branch C, which is diverge from the most recently closely related species of Safra, Seychellia, and Simulan. So in about 3 million years, there are about 60 genes originated in that period. Today we know that there are more than 11 molecular mechanisms which can create a new gene. And uh, one of the early examples in the change created in that kind of molecular mechanism is the Jinwei gene. By final genetic distribution of Jinwei gene in Zosafa, we know that this gene originated before two West African species diverge, which is about 2.5 million years ago. And by inspecting the sequence of the gene, we see that this gene actually used the both 
making of gene duplication and RNA-based duplication or retroposition to create a kind of chimera. And the protein, including N terminal peptide, which comes from Yellow Emperor, and the C terminal, which is from ADH, which evolved, we even showed that evolved important biochemical function to help the to suffer in West Africa to survive in a different ecological environment. How important are this very young gene in nature or in the organism? Here, using genetic mechanism, we can today lock out or locking down their expression or disrupt the gene while able to detect their functional importance. Here is an example, a new gene called the Y221, which was created by gene duplication at DNA level from a parental gene called CG7627, which the new gene existing in the only a group of Drosophila, which diverged about 80 million years ago, including Drosophila erecta, Drosophila yacuba, to Drosophila melogaster. We apply three genetic analysis to this new gene, which include P element insertion, i.e. put some element inside the gene. We also use uh, chemical mutagenesis, which created a mutant line at the position 717, 765, which both change amino acid sequence from G2S from T to I. It also created a mutant, a mutant line, which it only changed the number of size, do not change amino acid of the protein sequence. And we recently also used uh, the modern technology called the RNAi inactivation technology, which it silenced the expression of the gene using constitutive enhancer to drive GAR4. We found with surprise that all the three genetic mechanisms created lethal phenotype. Only that those genetic changes only created synonymous side and, and it, which make individual viable. So this experiment showed that this gene, which is very young, which is only older than 6 million years to 8 million years ago, Y221, it evolved essential function, i.e., any genetic change to abandon its function going to make Zosafla died. Here I gave a number of reported cases of a new gene which reported interesting phenotype and the function, including uh, SDSA, Sfeng, Jinwei, P242, which is about between 3 and 0 to 3 million years old. And uh, the youngest one is maybe only 0 0.01 million years old. That is a mammal. And uh, in the plant, we, I also give about three genes which show very important phenotypic effect or functional effect. In summary, in this section, we introduced that a new gene is a gene that originated recently in the genome can be identified by synthetic alignment of genomic sequence from group of closely related species. We also introduced that a number of molecular mechanisms can generate a new gene and more than one mechanism can be used in, in making new genes. Finally, we also tell you that new gene can be biologically important as old gene or as insect. In insect, essential function can evolve rapidly at any time in evolution. 